Hey guys, I'm back here again for our collection video and in this video I'm going to be showing off my Blu-ray Digibooks and I really do enjoy collecting Digibooks I think I prefer them over Steelbooks I just think that Digibooks have a lot more to offer and you get more bang for your buck, you know not only do you get the film but you also get a, a you know, just a great book of you know great pictures from the film and lots of good information about it and you know I just think that Overall, Digibooks are, you know, are just amazing releases of films. And, you know, I try to get them. If I find them for a good price, then I'll pick one up. Or if it's a movie I really want, then I'll get one. You know, for mostly all the ones I'm going to show off, I, I got for really great prices. And, um, you know, like I said, they're all around just really, really nice releases. Um, I don't have a lot to show off. I only have five in my collection right now. But, uh, you know, I thought I'd do this video just to show you guys, you know, which ones I have in my collection now. And then maybe down the road I'll do another video and show you guys how my collection has grown. You know, so this is just going to be, as of right now, my Blu-ray Digibook collection. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get right into it. Now, I'm not going to show off every single picture or every single page of each of these. I'm just going to, you know, take one out, open it up, and show you a few pictures and then move on. But anyway, the first one I'm going to show off is the Halloween, the 35th Anniversary Edition Blu-ray Digibook. Um, now, this uh, cover right here has grown on me. When I first saw it, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but now I enjoy it. I like that they decided to do something different for the cover, other than the, uh, the usual, you know, the pumpkin with the knife, you know, that classic image. I really do like Michael's face, and it's all, um, what is it, embedded, is I think is what it's the thing is the uh, the word for it all this is you know it's raised up which I really like and I love how the blu-ray banner is orange you know it's a great great October and Halloween it's got a great October feel to it and it's really nice and metallic and then of course you know, the title right here John Carpenter's Halloween 35th anniversary edition which again is raised up and really nice and shiny and here's the spine which again just says John Carpenter's Halloween 35th Anniversary Edition, and the back doesn't have anything on it, which is one of my, which is one thing that I would say I don't like. I, I wish that they would have something on the back. You know, I always enjoy it when they put a, an image on the back. So I just kept this, you know, this paper on the back, which lists off the information and the special features. I'm sure you guys have seen, you know, other videos showing this all. So I'm not going to get into what this edition comes with, but um. I'm going to go and open it up and show off some pictures. Now the first one is a, you know, the uh, first page just has an image of the original poster, which I'm glad that they included. And, um, yeah, just great behind the scenes images throughout. And lots of great information, like I said. I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing these off. I'm just going to go through it quickly so I have enough time to show off, you know, Really nice images. I've done a whole video where I showed this off in detail, so if you want to see it in better detail, you know, I'll, you know, just look up that video. Like I said, it's got more behind the scenes, you know, pictures and quotes from the film. Now, this is probably the ma my major complaint about this release is the way the disc is packaged. It's packaged in this, uh, you know, this kind of pocket sleeve, and you have to slide it out. If you look at the other Digibooks I'm going to show off in this video, this is the only one that's packaged like this. And this is probably my, it's my major complaint, and I've heard other people complain about it as well. That's just not a good way to package a disc, you know. But there are all the features on it. And again, I've done videos of it, you know, and talked about it, so if you want to look at it. And then, of course, there's the iconic pumpkin image. So all in all, it's a great Digibook. You know, originally I didn't like the, uh, I didn't like the cover, but it's grown on me. And my major complaint is how the disc is packaged. I'm just not a big fan of, you know, the di the uh, packaging where you have to slide the disc out of a pocket. But either way, still a nice release. Really, really great one. Time to move on. And the next one I have is the Matrix. I don't know if I ever showed this one off. I actually got this at a, at a. Uh, 
secondhand store, what is the name of it? I forget, Cash Converters. Yeah, I got this at Cash Converters for a really good price. It is used and it's not in great condition, but it's in pretty nice condition, I must say. I love the design of the front. You know, it's just all shiny on the front. And The Matrix is one of my favorite action films, so I really do enjoy this. There's a the spine. And the back just has just this, you know, that design down it. And again, I kept the receipt because I haven't even watched the, uh, I haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. So, but yeah, really, really amazing artwork throughout this entire book. Show off some, I love that image right there. I think that's on the image of one of the steel books. Yeah. If you open it up and just show you, you know, each, uh, each character has their own page and, you know, their film bios and stuff for each actor. Absolutely just awesome photographs throughout. And then there's the the disc and as you can see it is packaged, you know, in the plastic, you know, with the plastic uh push cap or, wh or wh whatever you call it, uh, the snap, you know, which is how they should have packaged a Halloween. You know, they should have packaged a Halloween digibook like this. This is how I like, you know, usually when you get a DVD or a Blu-ray, that's how they're usually packaged. And I wish that, uh, and I really, really like, you know, when they're packaged like this. That's my preferred way. But, uh, yeah, that is, uh, just, you know, a couple of, uh, pages from the Matrix Digibook, and if you want to see an overview of this entire Digibook, let me know and I'll do one because I haven't shown that one off. And another one I haven't, I only showed this off once, but I didn't open it up, but it is the Rocky Digibook, and I got this from Big Lots for $5, you know, Big Lots has been getting a lot of really cool uh, new Blu-rays, and if you have one near you, I recommend going down there. I don't know if this is available and at all of them. It was available at mine, and I got the last. Uh, I got the only one that was there. But yeah, there's the front. It's an iconic image right there. The spine, nothing really special about it. And the back is a really nice image. Also, I do still have all the back paper uh, sleeves of all these. I just, I'm just not showing them off, but I do. I did keep them all. For anybody wondering. Yeah, there's this the thing that came in it, and there's the first image. I also, if you want to see this in more detail, let me know because I don't think I've done a video of showing off this this complete one. Again, amazing images. And then each actor has their own page you know, and highlights of their career. Show off one more page in this one. Really nice. And then again, the way that the disc is packaged, not a fan of, because it slides, and I'm not, I don't even want to touch the disc, but as you can see, it's in this, it's the cardboard's around it and you have to slide it out. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I understand that sometimes they do that in bigger sets and it's easier to do it that way, but it's just not, I just don't think it's it's good on the disc. So I'm just not a fan of that. I prefer it with the plastic and with the, uh, you know, the snap button in the middle, you know. But anyway, other than that, really nice release. Now, the next one is one of my favorites and it is the Green Mile Digibook, and I love that it's just really, really nice, really shiny. I got this at FYE when it's going out of business for like $20 or something. In the back. Alright, open it up. The first image. I've done videos showing this off before, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. There's like a whole section that goes through all the actors. Like there's the Bonnie Hunt. You know, 
per page right there. And then just tons of great information about the film. And then that's just how the Digibook ends. Really great image right there. And then again, packaged very, very nicely to disc. I think Warner Brothers, from what I can tell, they do really, really great work on their Digibooks. They really know how to put it all together and make it really, really nice. There's Stephen King right there. And I'll show off like one more. Because I kind of went through this one kind of fast. There you go. And like I said, if you want to see that in better detail, I did a video of it. And the last one, Clockwork Orange. Yeah, I love that image of Alex right there with just a milk glass. And this is the anniversary edition. I'm not sure what edition it is. Or what anniversary, I mean, it is. And like I said, I've done a video showing this off before. So, um, you know... This is a two disc set, disc one as a movie. And then open it up. Again, awesome images throughout and information about the film. There's them filming the hospital bed scenes. When it opened to theaters. And then there's a about trivia about both the book and the film and the differences between the uh you know yeah right here like there's a page of nothing but them talking about different uh the differences between the film and the book and the changes that they made and then the second disc is a documentary about uh stanley kubrick which is a life in pictures which is a really really great documentary and if anybody's a fan of kubrick i would definitely recommend checking that documentary out if you can but uh anyway guys that is my blu-ray digibook collection i know i went through these kind of fast but i have done videos on several of them separately and if you want to see an overview of the rocky digibook or the matrix i will do one and um yeah so thank you guys for watching i'm always on the lookout for other editions i don't collect every single digibook i find but if it's a movie i want or if it's a movie i really enjoy and if I find it for a good price, I'll pick one up. But this is just the beginning, so thanks everybody for watching. I would like to say that my uh, computer has been messing up. And sometimes I can reply to comments, and sometimes I can't. Again, my computer is again having trouble. I, I don't know why, but for some reason my computer just has problem after problem. So if I don't reply to your comments, I apologize in advance. And, you know, to the people who I subscribe to, I just can't, sometimes I can't even comment on other people's videos without my computer messing up. So, I don't know what's wrong, but, you know, I hope you guys understand, and I know you guys will, because you guys are very understanding. That's what I like about you guys. You know, if I have a problem, you guys, you know, you guys understand, and I really appreciate that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, let me know down below if you have any digibooks and what are your favorite ones. And um, I hope everybody's having a good week, and I uh, hope to see you guys very, very soon.